Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our preparation of 2345 tetraphenyl cyclopentadienone experiment. In this experiment, tetraphenyl cyclopentadienone will be prepared by the reaction of dibenzyl ketone with benzyl in the presence of base. This reaction proceeds via an aldol condensation reaction with dehydration giving the purple unsaturated cyclic ketone. Let's get started. To begin, we will add 0.1 grams of benzyl and 0.1 grams of dibenzyl ketone or 1,3-diphenyl acetone to a three milliliter conical vial. The mass of benzyl that we will be using is 0.1048 grams. And the mass of dibenzyl ketone that we will be using is 0.1023 grams. After adding the benzyl and the dibenzyl ketone to our three milliliter conical vial, we will next add 0.8 milliliters of absolute ethanol and a spin vane to the conical vial. We will then attach the conical vial to a water-cooled condenser and heat the vial on an aluminum block at approximately 80 degrees Celsius with stirring until the solids have dissolved. Once the solids have completely dissolved, we will need to raise the temperature of the hot plate until the mixture is just below its boiling point. Then with continuous stirring and using a nine inch pasture pipette, we will carefully add dropwise 0.15 milliliters of ethanolic potassium hydroxide solution down through the water cooled condenser into the vial. The ethanolic potassium hydroxide solution is made from dissolving 0.4 grams of potassium hydroxide in four milliliters of absolute ethanol. Once the ethanolic potassium hydroxide solution is added to the mixture, the mixture will immediately turn a deep purple. We will then need to raise the temperature of the hot plate until the mixture is at a gentle boil and we will heat the mixture while stirring at a gentle boil for 15 minutes. After the heating period, we will remove the vial from the aluminum block and allow it to cool to room temperature. After the vial has cooled to room temperature, we will place the vial in an ice bath to complete crystallization. After crystallization has completed, we will collect our tetraphenyl cyclopentadienone crystals by vacuum filtration using a Hirsch funnel. We will use ice cold 95% ethanol to aid in the transfer and the washing of our crystals. While our crystals continue to dry, we will next pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.2529 grams. We will next collect the crystals on the pre-weighed watch glass and dry them in an oven for 30 minutes.
after drawing the mass of the pre-weighed watch glass and the tetraphenyl cyclopentadienone product is 35.3980 grams. We will now perform a melting point determination of tetraphenyl cyclopentadienone. Okay, students, you can now determine the percent yield, the melting point, and analyze the IR spectrum of tetraphenyl cyclopentadienone. This concludes the preparation of 2345 tetraphenyl cyclopentadienone experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.